There are some terrible misconceptions in society that Parkinson's disease is incurable and that the symptoms associated with it are caused by death of the dopamine producing cells in a gland of the brain called the substantia nigra, even though medical research proved this wrong long ago. 200 years ago, in fact, Dr. James Parkinson himself published autopsy findings that revealed spinal curvature, abnormalities at the C1 and C2 vertebra traumatizing the brainstem, and muscular rigidity throughout the body, particularly around the area of the neck and shoulders, caused every Parkinson's symptom. And I have personally proven this to be correct by achieving very quick success over Parkinson's symptoms by dealing with these three problems along with the stress and anxiety that originally provoked them. Here is just one example of that success. You might just take your time. My name is Ross Collins. I'm 46 years of age. I was, I'm from Melbourne. Um, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1996. And I was ultimately diagnosed by Professor Ed Byrne. What do you put your development of Parkinson's down to? Uh, I later thought it was more stress related. And within, say, the last 12 months prior to your diagnosis, were you on any very stressful case? I was functioning at a very high stress level for some quite an extended period of time. Yep. Ross, now what I want to get you to do, mate, is I just want to get you walking. Uh, to get you, get you on tape walking around the unit. O over to the door and back again will be fine, mate. Just take your time. Right, oh, Ross, this is only day two, mate. You got an improvement already. I want you to see your walk. Just relax, let all your tensions go. That's good, mate. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Now stand there and take stock. Stay, take stock of yourself. Let go of your tensions. Feel happy. Feel at peace with yourself. Feel free and love it, enjoy the walk, enjoy the walk. Okay, now this time I want you to walk, smile more, feel happier and walk a little bit faster as you enjoy it more than you did just then. Enjoy, enjoy, let go, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it my friend. Does that feel good? It feels great. Right, this is only day two, my friend. It's, you can do a lot yeah. better even. Yeah. You're doing magic. I'm proud of you, man. It's unbelievable. Go on, away you go. Do it again. Let go. Let go of the tension. Let, that's it. Be proud. Let go. That's it. And again, take, your, take stock first. Take stock. Let go. Be proud of yourself and away. And enjoy it. Enjoy the walk. There you go. Is that good? That was <laughs> Do you feel brave enough to go outside and walk? Yeah, I actually feel fantastic. All right, let's let's take it outside. Go on, walk to me a bit if you want. Yeah. Uh -huh.
You feel good? That's yeah, it. Feel, feel so much freer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, turn around, walk to the floor, to the door, I mean. That's it. That's it, that's it. Okay, Ross, day four, you've just had your second chiropractic appointment. How do you feel? Do you hate chiropractors now, mate? I love love them. <laughs> you good? You feel good? good. You're looking good. straight. Yeah. All right, mate, let's go to the unit then, eh? Just relax, let it go, let, let everything go, and that's great, mate. That's really good. If you have a therapist treating you who is interested in learning my methods, it may be possible for you to be treated free of charge as that therapist's first client. Please understand, overcoming Parkinson's disease is far from an easy task. The complex assessment procedures that I use delve very deeply into the physiological functions of the human body and even into sleep patterns, suppressed grief, anxiety and emotional disarray. If you have any questions in your efforts to try and regain your health, Please don't fail to email them to me and I'll do my absolute best to help you.